All right, it is time for adultitis free news. And let's be clear, Jason did not read these to me ahead of time, so I'm hearing them for the first time with you. I just Little. wanted to have pieces of paper so I could do this. And like sound SNL. Better professional. <laughs> yes. And then maybe when I get done, I'll throw it behind me. Okay. All right. Uh, oh this one man stranded in lake saved by floating tiki bar of priests. <laughs> He prayed for help and it arrived. A man oh stranded gosh. in 30 feet of water in upstate New York, hanging on for dear life to his life jacket, his kayak, and his new $1,400 smartphone. Oh. Not sure why that needed to be <laughs> in there, but uh, good for you. Uh, wound up getting rescued by men of the Lord, a floating tiki men bar of, of priests. Jimmy McDonald, who is a substance abuse counselor and recovered substance abuser, was saved by the Paulist, Paulist Fathers, a Catholic religious community from St. Joseph's Seminary in Washington, D.C., who helped with the Tiki Tour staff. <laughs> a, a movement of the Holy Spirit is how one of the seminarians, Noah Ishmael, uh, told NBC Washington about how the group of holy men serendipitously discovered McDonald at Lake George in Albany. Uh, McDonald had drifted away from his family while snapping pictures, as one does. <laughs> With your $1,400 <laughs> phone. The choppy water kept him from getting back to shore, leaving oh, him in yeah. huge fear before the saintly rescue. That's when I said, all right, I think I might die today. I think this might be it. I prayed to my Lord for help, McDonald said, and he's extremely grateful to his good Samaritans. I just take it as a sign from God that he's got me here for a real reason. So let me understand this. What The part I kind of missed, and I do have some comprehension problems, everyone should know that. Um, so, <laughs> amen. Amen. <laughs> amen. Were the priests in a tiki bar, like, just enjoying themselves? Or they That's were running the part. it? Okay, hear, I didn't miss that. We hear about the $1,400 smartphone, which yeah. seems in inconsequential. Right, right. Uh, but yet... Priest, we're helping with the tiki tour staff. Like that. Like, yes, I did. I mean, that's the story I want to hear. Yes. Right. Like, what was the story with the tiki bar? How did they get involved in that? Uh, that's the missing piece it's of the story. Floating tiki. First of all, epic. There needs to be more floating tiki bars. Uh, I think that's clear. Well, right. We get get on that right away. I just I don't actually picture it filled with priests. So that's like the next step of the. That's thinking. why it's news, Kim. I that's why it's news. <laughs> Regular floating tiki bars rescuing people. Every day. Seen that before. Every day, right? But one with priests. That's a big one. All right, That's moving on, awesome. moving on. Do they have their coll do they have their collars on or swimsuits? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's a good question. Do they have like swim shirts? Is there shirt? a visual with this? They have swim shirts that have a little collar printed on it, kind of like the, yeah. the fake tuxedo t-shirt, mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, next one up. All right. This one you had actually alerted me to the other day, and I was happy to have found it. Oh yeah, Jelly Belly I founder. This on our show. Yeah. I I can't. How long How long has Jelly Belly been around? I can't believe the founder is still alive. I mean, oh, I didn't Ronald think it was that Reagan. Old. Well, Ronald Reagan was always big on having Jelly Bellies, but I mean, hmm. still maybe, maybe he started it when he was five yeah. years old. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Jelly Belly founder to give away candy factory in nationwide treasure hunt. Yes. Jelly Belly founder giving away a candy factory. This is, this is like so art awesome, imitating you life. Guys, I know. The founder of Jelly Belly Candy Company is giving away one of his candy factories as part of a nationwide treasure hunt. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. <laughs> David Klein, founder of the Jelly Belly Jelly Beans, is getting ready to retire. But first, he's going to give back to everyone who loves the candy industry like he does. It was revealed that gold tickets are being hidden nationwide for anyone to find. Once every state has had a chance to join a treasure hunt, each person who entered will be able eligible to search the ultimate treasure hunt, which will get the winner the key to his candy factory. And he will also pay for a candy making class, which is important because otherwise <laughs> oh, those jelly beans I don't know, went off. Off the rails. Well, it almost assumes that now you're in charge of making all the candy. It's like, doesn't it? Isn't that how it works? <laughs> well, that's that's what the movies have told me to believe. I mean, come on. With the gold ticket treasure hunt, our goal is to get people out and about with their families. Grandma and grandpa can even join 
with the kids and grandkids. Grand, well, good. Uh, you got yeah. both. If you have grandma and grandpa living in beds together, sleeping in beds in your house, they can be involved. Uh, grandma and grandpa bucket. Uh, <laughs> so here's the deal. You can uh, join one of their treasure hunts, which are launching right now at the gold ticket. Dot com, the gold ticket.com. The gold ticket. The gold okay. ticket. Does this even make, I mean, is this for real? Because it's so much like Willy Wonka. Paul's been training for this his whole life. <laughs> I agree. It's your time, Paul. It is your time. I mean, seriously, this is this is pretty interesting. If one of our adult itis fighters does not win this factory, we have not done our you've, job. You failed. We yeah. failed you. We failed the you world. You failed us, frankly. <laughs> I mean, it's a little bit of both. Yeah, that's what it'll be. Like, you need to make this happen. You need to make this happen. Meanwhile, Suzanne oh, says, I lobe buttered popcorn jelly beans. <laughs> Me too. I lobe them too. They are very uh, good. Yes. Uh, Love the typos. Love this the typos. is probably one of the coolest stories because there's so much hope involved. I mean, this guy definitely knows what 2020 is all about, son, because he knows that people need this hope to win a fa to win a factory that's i think what's most important there is i just realized we need to have a ron swanson sound effect i know what i'm about so <laughs> i use that phrase Rachel at least like that once one. a week and uh, it needs to be part of the show uh, please do all that you can to win this I thank mean, you for clarifying that suzanne love i, I like to lobe figured, better. but i, I like, like to lobe i know i think we should all all you need is lobe that's all you need <laughs> All right. Well, if you thought that that was good, we've got one no, more. No, I can't handle another one. I think I need to this process even this better. one for like a this half one, hour. No. This one makes me so happy. I'm not so ready happy. to move on. This move on. No. Move on. We're moving on. <laughs> World War II veterans wish granted casket to be painted like a pack of juicy fruit. <laughs> Full stop. Uh, an ailing World War II veteran is having his casket painted to resemble a pack of juicy fruit. The gum he's happily handed out to people in his Virginia community for decades. Aww. Suddy Economy. That's, That's his name? name? Suddy. S U T T I E. not like that anymore. No, Economy. That's his last name. Economy? It's a good, it's a good economy. Wow. Uh, he's 94 years old, still Aww. with us, suffered health problems over the past year and was being cared for at the Virginia Hospital in Salem. Economy served in the Navy aboard the USS English in the Pacific during the war. Mm -hmm. We thank you for your Amazing. service, Suddy. A longtime friend, Sammy Oakley, who is of Oakley's Funeral Service and Crematory. It's nice to have a friend in the biz, as well, they maybe say. This is how this all happened. Yeah. He said, "Economy asked that his casket be painted like a pack of his favorite gum when he dies." And uh, his friend said, "For decades, Suddy has been known as the guy who takes packs of juicy fruit to restaurants, doctors' offices, funeral homes, firehouses, etc., and gives them out to everyone he sees." Aww. He has probably purchased tens of thousands of packs of the gum over the years. Huh. Mars Wrigley, the manufacturer of the gum and other candy, initially denied permission to use their federally registered no. trademark on a casket. <laughs> Adultitis, if I've ever... Wouldn't it be good advertising for the people at their funeral? Well, the story turns out good. All right. Oakley's Funeral Service posted about Economy's unusual request on social media, garnering a large community response. Mm -hmm. Oakley told that uh, WBDBJTV that someone in the community gave him the email address of the candy company president, whom he then wrote about Economy's request. A couple days later, he got a response saying the company was making an exception for the veteran. Amen to that. They said, we appreciate the role our products have played in creating better moments. And more smiles for this individual and the Roanoke community. It's a very PR yeah, that was a little language. Heavy. But let's give him credit yeah, yeah. For, for doing it. Right. <laughs> um, so as I said, uh, uh, Economy is still with us. Oki says that the casket won't be painted, painted until Economy passes away, ah. which he hopes will be a long time off. And of course we do as well. Wow. That oh, yeah, is... That's right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? That was pretty good, huh? That's um, that. That's yeah. Ah, there's good a news. lot of highs and lows in that one. I'll be honest. I was just like, no, and then I'm like, yes, and 
you took us on a ride with what was going to happen with Delta Adaptitis almost won but... ups and downs right very truly whimsical as lisa says mm -hmm. uh, i know good. right he should join us that would be really cool to see if we can get him on that would be yeah that would be tech. hilarious <laughs> rachel says makes me think of the florence and the machine song my boy builds coffins oh man so there you have it the uh the first installment of adult i just free news let us know in the comments if you thought that was worth keeping and doing again we've got a little rotation of different things we like to mix in and out love to hear what you guys think let us know